Hi, my name is Mike, and I'm into hydroponics. One of these days, I want to do aquaponics and maybe a bigger hydroponic system. But it's it's kind of cool because these plants grow at a much faster rate, and they're they got they suck in the vitamins and nutrients and whatever's in the water. They suck it up and they use it to grow, and they grow much bigger most of the time. You know, I'm not saying you can't grow big stuff in soil, but you can if you use the right kind of soil and fertilizer and all that. But this is kind of cool. And, and if you don't like dirt, this is for you. <laughs> but I, I, I realize you have to test the water for the pH level. Acidic E is the red level. Acidic E is the blue level. Or you want to shoot for 6.0 and 6.5. 6 being the, the level that you really want. But if you're in that level, you don't have to do anything to your water. See, I got it. Looks like yellow. You get closer, it's like the yellow that we want, I think. But anyway, use this to test it. Three drops. That's according to my kit. So you want to read your instructions. It could be different. Shake it, and it tells you your color on this. Well, say if you're you're um want to lower or higher your here we go i found it <laughs> if you want to lower or higher your uh, ph levels you want to buy a kit similar to this i bought a small kit on ebay did not come with instructions so i had to learn this myself don't put too much in there even a little bit could be a lot for a small arrow garden so what i do is i suck it up two or three four drops in there Stir it up with a little sticky <laughs> and um, retest it. And then I get an idea from there. Um, if your pH level is too low, you want to add the blue. pH level is too high, you want to add the yellow, or the orange, I meant, not yellow. And if you keep your water uh, at a good pH level, your plants will grow and be more healthier.